What's crack a -lacking, guys? Welcome back to Bulls Deep Fishing. I hope you're enjoying that little product review video I just I just shot here a little bit ago. Um, it's over the Bear Outdoors fly fishing box that I use for my terminal tackle now. Um, outstanding product. Definitely go check them out. Um, some really good stuff they got on Amazon. Tons of different colors. So definitely go check that out if you have not seen that yet. Um, but another video I want to shoot is something I did this past week. As you can see behind me, this is kind of my, my, my working space where I keep all my rods, my, my paddles, my hog troughs, you know, all my goodies, my PFD, everything is up on the wall. But, you know, I was taking up a lot of room in the garage with, you know, one of those storage units, or not storage units, but storage shelves, you know, you can get at Walmart or Home Depot. And it, would just, it just kept getting a mess, a mess, you know, the kids would throw stuff on there, and it just, you know, mess up all my fish and stuff, so I kind of wanted to think of something that I can not only store my kayak on, but also be able to fit all my all my tackle stuff um, up under where basically, you know, when my kayak's sitting on here, I can basically, and it's on wheels, check it out, it show sure is, but um, basically whenever I'm, you know, loading up my stuff, you know, the night before a tournament or anything like that, I can basically have my boat sitting on top of it with all my stuff up underneath it, and basically just move this to the back of my trunk, slide it in, and uh, just load up the boat, then load up all my gear with it right there. Um, and I didn't really spend hardly no money on this. Um, yes, I'm, I, oh, look, I'm in the construction world. Um, so, you know, yes, I get, you know, I get, you know, deals on, on different building materials, but a lot of the times, even if you're not in the construction world, if you go to a construction site and, you know, talk to the site super or the builder that's on site and say, hey, you know, I don't want to mess up what y'all got going on. I don't want to take nothing, but do you mind if I, you know, go through your dumpster and get some two by fours, you know, some cut two by fours, some cut OSB, whatever it is. And nine times out of 10, they're going to like, yeah, take it on off because they don't have to turn on pay for that stuff to get hauled off. So definitely, you know, hit up, you know, if you got a neighborhood going up around you, especially those big neighborhoods that have a lot of houses going, they like to move quickly. So definitely, you know, get in those because they don't want to deal with more crap than they have to. So that's basically what I did. I went to one of my clients and be like, hey, uh, I wanted to build, you know, a workbench type thing in my garage. Do you mind if I get your cut pieces and then, you know, get them out of your way? And, and then I use those like, yeah, sure. Take whatever you want. Um, get it out of my hair. So that is an outstanding way to do it. The only thing I had to buy on here was a box of screws uh, because I ran out of the house and then I had to buy some casters. Um, they And I didn't realize... Home Depot has like 40 different types of casters and wheels uh, to put tables and benches and all this industrial crap on. I was like, dang, I'm just here to get some, some cheap casters. I mean, come on. But um, I got the, the metal one. I don't really know. It's not the rubber wheel. It's the metal wheel. It was actually the cheapest one there. I think I paid like eight bucks for each of them. Um, so that was the only thing I really spent money on. But basically what I did is I basically built... A table to hold my kayak but basically with a shelf up underneath it to hold all my junk um, and not only that if I ever want to do a home project um, I can use this as a workbench as well um, I can just take my boat off and basically just roll it around do whatever I want to do cut on it hammer on it nail on it drill on it whatever I want to do and it's really not gonna mess up nothing and I'm not really out no money um, all it is, is is two by fours I think I use like three or four uh, 14 foot two by fours depending on how long you want to make it um, and then um, the casters, a box of screws, and then two sheet, sheets of OSB. But keep in mind, it really depends on um, OSB or plywood. It really depends on how big you're going to make your table. So, you know, I usually have a kayak that is in between 11 and 13 feet long. And so, you know, I'm not no math guy, but I kind of want to get something in that six, seven foot range where, you know, it's not short on one end, cause my boat to drop, all this other crap. It's a very sturdy platform to, you know, store my kayak on. So I went seven foot long, um, in case I wanna get into that 13 foot boat range. And then I also went three foot wide, um, because, you know, a lot of times, you know, the boats are keep getting wider, wider, wider as the years go on. So I wanna have room to grow. And then also, I wanna be able to, if I wanna slide the kayak over to this side of the table, I can have working space over there or push it back and have working space, so on and so forth. Um, it's a really cool thing. Yeah, I probably, I wanted to use traditional plywood, you know, not rough cut OSB like this is, but it was free. I'm not gonna turn it down. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically all I did is I built, just like when you're building corn holes or like a planter's box, um, you just basically build two boxes um, out of two by fours. 
And then I, I put, since mine was so long, I did put a two by four in, in the middle of it um, just to give it a little bit more support. And it was still was flimsy. And guys, I'm no way a woodsman or a, or a craftsman or whatever it is, you know, woodworker, whatever you want to call it. Carpenter. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. I am no way the best carpenter known to man. Um, I, can, I can get by. And I really thought the width and the length of it was really going to kill my, my stability of it and my durability of it. But it actually, the way I built it, um, it made it stronger. So basically, I, put, I built two boxes, like I said, with two by fours. And then I went ahead and put the OSB on it, on it that way um, before I put the whole table together. And so basically, I got OSB on top and then OSB on the bottom, on the bottom box. And then basically, once I had those two put together, I just drilled my four legs in on the bottom box and then turned around and basically just picked up the top portion of the table and basically just sat on there and popped some screws in it and it's ready to rock and roll. Um, and I am going to paint it because I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to paint it black, but I mean, it's going to, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a workbench. It ain't got to be a, a dining room table that your wife picks out from Pottery Barn. That's, you know, $900. I'm not, not saying no names, but it happens to everybody. But, um, it's a really cool thing. And what's, what I, what I really like about it is I can mount stuff to the sides, to the front, do kind of whatever I really want to. It's kind of a blank canvas. But what's really cool is I can take all my crap that I usually keep on my boat, you know, black packs, crates, um, batteries, you know, um, pedal drives and everything. I just basically, instead of moving on one side of the garage to the other, I basically just take it off and drop it right on there and leave it alone. And the wife's not gonna, you know, hound you that, oh, all your stuff's taking up all the room in the garage, get it out. Well, that's not the case now. Everything is centralized and in one area. Um, it is a really cool thing. And guys, if y'all, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like this is gonna help me out tremendously. Um, and then also, I kinda got something I might do in the future. It just came to mind. But uh, as you see, it's on wheels, as I already said before in the video. But uh, say I wanna put one boat on top of it. I can actually, you know, mount something on the back of it to actually hold two boats, but just keep that other boat up kinda at an angle and I'd still be able to fit two boats on it. So, you know, hint, hint, I am gonna be getting a designated river boat, you know, towards the end of spring, and so that's another place I can put it, um, instead of taking up more room in the garage. But uh, it's really cool, it's, it's kind of a space saver to me, um, and I really enjoy it. I mean, I think stuff on wheels is just so cool. And also, <laughs> um, I have terrible lighting in the garage at nighttime. Um, I don't know, whenever they put up these lights, I swear they get, you know, they put Edison bulbs in it that don't light up crap. Um, you can ha actually put little touch lights up underneath the table. So if I'm, if I'm up late one night and I don't have no light in the garage, I can just, you know, those little battery operated touch lights and I can light up the whole area. Um, but it's really cool. I figured y'all enjoy it. Um, I know I see a lot of times, how do you store your kayak? Um, where do you put it? What do you put it on? Do you put on the, do you stand it up? Do you lay it down? Do you put it on the side? This, that, and the other. Well, guys, I have always kept my kayak sitting flat on the ground or basically, if it's a small enough kayak, then I'll stick it straight up in there. Um, I am no technical guy with building kayaks, but I've had no issues with having it flat on the ground whatsoever. So that's kind of the way I'm gonna stick with it. Um, but guys, um, if you have any questions about how I made this or what I did or my dimensions, I, I gotta have the one you have, uh, please drop a comment in the comment section below. But it's easier for me if you find me on the socials at Bulls Deep Fishing on Instagram and Bulls Deep Fishing on Facebook. Send me a message through there because messaging on YouTube, it's, it's kind of glitchy to me. I don't know if it's just my Wi-Fi or what, but it, it doesn't always work all the time. So if you, if you have questions, say, hey, you know, drop a comment in the comment section below. Say, hey, Josh, I'm writing you a DM on Facebook, DM on Instagram. And then I'll immediately go over there and look at it if it doesn't notify me already. So, but guys, yeah, if y'all have any questions, please let me know. And if guys, if y'all have any other ideas to help me better save room in my tiny garage for all my fishing equipment, please let me go. Ugh, please let me know, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys. But if you're on the water, I am so jealous. If you're in, you're in the same boat as me, guys, stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming your way. I'm really going to enjoy it. I got my brand, my apparel dropping towards the end of the year. So it's going to be awesome, guys, and I will be doing giveaways. I will be doing some giveaways, guys. But stay classy, stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Deuces.